Hey guys, it's Ark Knight and welcome to my part 2 of my Pokemon Omega Ruby challenge, trying to find out if I can beat the game using only my shiny Zigzagoon. Same rules as before, I can only use my shiny Zigzagoon in battle, I cannot use any other items other than held items during battle, and I can't use any glitches. So last time, I caught my shiny Zigzagoon, I got my first gym badge, leveled up my Zigzagoon to level 21, and I have 10 hours of recorded gameplay time. Okay, so I started training a little bit after I beat the first gym, and I sailed off to Duford Town, challenged the second gym. Um, I one-hit killed the whole team basically, I'm at level 25 now. And after I'm gonna head off to Granite Cave, train a little bit more, and just continue on with the story. So going through Slateport City and battling some trainers on Route 110, we eventually get to our rival. Uh, I did teach Zigzagoon a couple of new moves, uh, Thief and Flail, which should be helpful at least for now. So we start off fighting um, Whalmer. We eventually knock it out, we get stuck in the Whirlpool, but I keep using um, Headbutt. And then we get we get to fight Shroomish. It's a little bit challenging because we get affected by its Spore and we fall asleep, but at least we didn't get paralyzed. And then I use Thief to finish off, I believe. Woke up and use Thief. Now we have to fight Combuskin. And it's a little bit... It's kind of risky because... We, we survive with a Flame Charge. But if it used Double Kick, I'm pretty sure we would have got knocked out. But we, we're lucky this time. So it's definitely going to be dangerous moving forward. But we win this time. So I made my way to Marvel City and I challenged the third gym. Um, something new I took advantage of are the O powers and I chose the attack and special defense. I also let my Zigzagoon hold a cherry berry because I kept getting paralyzed due to all the thunder wave attacks. Um, so I started to spam Thief now because it's um, it does regular damage compared to my other attacks right now. Um, next up is Voltorb. I keep using Thief. I eventually knock it out. Um, I think I'm doing pretty well right now at level 33, going at a good pace. And then after I knock Voltorb out, Magneton comes out. I keep using Thief. Uh, I get confused and I hurt myself one turn, but I eventually knocked it out. So going at a good pace here. After Marvel City, I'm going to go ahead and keep training and um, level up as much as I can until the next battle. So doing pretty good so far. So I make my way to Route 111 and I get to the Wind Street's house. Uh, I decided to record the battle because it's basically like a mini gym battle because you have to fight the whole family in a row. Um, it's easy for the most part but this is my second attempt because of the Shroomish. The Shroomish always seems to mess me up because of the Spore and it paralyzes um, my Zigzagoon. So this time I made it hold the Cherry Berry which takes care of the spore and uh, so I don't have to battle paralyzed and the final battle with the grandpa I believe he uses a meditite which is also really risky because of the fighting type move um, force palm and it's uh, super effective against me but uh, I beat him this time thanks to the cherry berry there you go it's just try to paralyze me right now but the berry took care of it and almost no problem I just keep using headbutt and um, I take I do the same thing for the Meditite, so I win this time, and I'm at level 36 now, so no problems. Gonna keep leveling up and work my way to the fourth gym. So so far so good. So after a bunch of story related events like fighting Maxi. I eventually got to the fourth gym and it took a lot of trials to get the timing just right. So first up was Slugma and Slugma's ability is Flame Body and all my attacks are physical so I was always at a risk to get burnt. And when I did get burnt I just start over because it wasn't worth it. I just get knocked out easy but this time I got lucky. With Torkoal I thought Dig would be the best way to beat him. But I found that, that he would just keep using Curse and his defense stat just kept going up and I barely did any damage. 
I found out that headbutt is the better way to go because he would flinch a few turns and I would beat him faster that way. Uh, this this turn though, this time he did get a uh, hyper potion, but I just kept on um, headbutting and eventually I did knock him out. Um, and then final battle was Nummel. It was an easy win, just one dig attack and he got knocked out. So I found out which attacks to use and I got the timing right, I got lucky. And um, moving on, right after this would be the fifth gym and we'll see how I do then. So almost immediately after I beat the fourth gym, I challenged the fifth gym. It took a couple of tries, but actually once you know the pattern, it's not really that difficult. So with slacking the first one and actually the last one, with their truant ability, they skip a turn. And once you know the pattern, I just kept using dig, do damage to them, and then they skip a turn and then dam damage them again with dig. And then they, they eventually get knocked out. So really easy. And with Vigroth, I just one hit knockout with headbutt. No challenge, just one hit. And with the last slacking, it's the same thing. Just use dig and then a second dig, finish it off with headbutt, and that's it. Easy, easy gym battle, and you get your fifth badge. So Zigzagoon's at level 46 now, I believe. I did a lot of progress so far, so I'm gonna keep going. Good so far, and I'm gonna be off to the next gym battle. So far in this challenge, I've managed to collect 5 gym badges, I level up Zigzagoon to level 46, and I spent around 22 hours in playtime. If you have any suggestions or ideas, please leave a comment below, and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.